Seriously though, I know you guys all want this. Um, growing up, my dad used to call me wild woman hair because I'd wake up. Bro, <laughs> scary. Okay. Oh, we got an early morning, lots of things going today. I wanted to share, I have a new code for Dime. Haven't shared that since last year. And they did revamp their face wash and it smells delicious. I know a bunch of you guys had mentioned that before. And I just opened the new package like last week and it smells so, so good. Love the face wash. Love all the products in the whole beauty line because they're just clean, active ingredients that I can Active ingredients that are actually working on my skin and not just a bunch of you know build up and fluff I actually feel like my skin has looked better and better the longer that I've used dime um, and I did pause there I did wash my face I figured I didn't need to wash my face on the camera you know how to wash your face a little bit of cleanser a little bit of water washing it dry it off <laughs> okay um, but I do love also their hyper glow it's actually what got me to start with dime in the first place when we moved here uh, because my esthetician told me I needed a vitamin C serum on my skin with all the sun exposure. So this helps protect against free radicals. It brightens your skin. I use it every day before I put on my lotion. Um, so you can use my code for 20% off. Repeating this outfit again. Uh, we are off to take Fox to swim lessons. I mentioned before she's doing survival swim lessons. And whew, it's very hard to watch. Uh, it's like 15 minute classes goes four times a week but we have a pool we live at the water like it's just something that we just decided we really wanted to do and I'm so happy we're doing it because already she's like the what she's learning is incredible she goes in the water now and she can flip over onto her back and she can basically sit there I think yesterday she did it for like 35 seconds so whoa, all good things and then we're gonna go do some exploring today you get to come with I'm just going through some Fox Mercantile stuff right now. That's right, I can say the name. It was killing me because I felt like every time I was on here, I was about to say like, the Fox Mercantile. And then um, I would have gave, given it away. I had to wait to share it. Finally can share the name of our shop and I'm so excited about it. I posted about it last night. You can kind of see the story behind the name. Obviously, Foxy Girl. And then the cute little gold crown. I just, I love it so much. Um, so I'm going through stuff we are going to have at the block party. Block party is going to be amazing. It's April 2nd and I'm so excited about it because it's going to be two days before our book launch, which means that we get to have books here for sale and I'm going to be signing books and you know, we'll be signing books and we just got cookies made. <laughs> Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. Designed to last cookies. Um, and then also at the block party is going to be the premiere of our shop, the Fox Mercantile. So it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. I'm starting to unwrap some things and ooh, I love everything. I really only ordered a handful of everything just because I wanted to see what was going to do well. I love these bags. 
Um, these are so cute. These guac and salsa, they come with little ceramic holders that go inside of these. Um, I mean, these, look at them, look at this. Here, I just, these are seriously, when I wrote out, these are all my favorite things in the description of my shop, literally all of my favorite things, like little spoons for, <laughs> for salt. We have little salt bowls. Look how cute. I'm so excited. Oh, that says pepper. I cannot wait. April 2nd, you got to mention i think one of the biggest things that i'm excited about with this line is that i i really had to control myself because I, there's so many amazing things i want to buy but i'm really really keeping price point in mind with everything if i with everything that i do with design and everything and i know everybody like budgets and money like a dollar can mean so much to somebody and a dollar could mean nothing to somebody but Regardless, I just, I, in design and everything that I do, I always try to think of like the mass. How can I do design that appeals so that everybody can follow along and do it? How can I have a shop so that the majority of people can feel like they can leave with something? And so that's what I try to keep in mind and that I just, there was so much stuff that I wanted for the shop, but I was like, I, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't pay that for it. So I can't put it in my shop. So I feel being said what i'm excited about the most with the shop well there's so many things i'm excited about and this is i don't even know if this is the most i'm excited about the cookies the most i'm excited about everything but the prices are really great i wanted exceptional stuff but great prices Waiting for the lights to come so I can share the rest of the laundry room. I just want it all to be put together before I share it all because I just feel like it'll make it a statement. If I'm taking a picture of the ceiling, it should be finished. Um, but next project we're, that we're going to start next week, hopefully, yes? Do you know? You never know. You, you never, never know. know. Is I really want to build the hood for the kitchen. So I have a couple ideas on the hood here. Dino's making me some guacamole. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> okay is so we have a couple ideas i'll share them on the next screen but a kind of just like a tr traditional hood then there's a more modern hood or there's a hood where it has a hood inside the hood there's a hood within a hood <laughs> basically dino would just build a very simple box and then what we could do is actually brick around it so it looks like a cool built-in brick hood i like 